Welcome Leo, I'm Rosa and this is Purple Luna Rose Tarot. These are going to be your guidance cards for the week of November 8th through November 14th of 2021. Welcome back Leo and if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you'd like to join our tribe, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, ready to find out which YouTube tarot reader knew what Mr. Beast was doing before anyone else? The answer is going to be all of them, and I'll tell you why. Many tarot readings are very similar, and if you don't believe me, go look up your sun sign on different tarot channels that you don't normally watch. Now pay attention to this title. So for example, my sun sign is Aries, and if I go look on different channels and look up all the Aries videos, I will see that the titles will be very, very similar. I believe the reason for this is the astrology. Right now, the astrology is very much pointing us towards our purpose. And now I'm going to tell you which specific YouTube tarot reader told me that I would get involved in this massive movement. A few months back, I was watching Scorpio Moon Intuition. She is a wonderful, accurate, twin flame-based channel. Make sure to check her out if you haven't already. I remember this specific Aries video because she spoke of charity and donation. And this is right around the time that me and Junior were having the conversation about trying to choose which charity my channel would support and that we would donate to regularly. She mentioned environmental causes, specifically cleaning the oceans. I remember thinking, no, I understand the need, but I'm drawn to donate to children. So I thought, well, she must be off this week, right? Ha ha, your tarot reader always knows before you do, at least the good ones do. So what is Mr. Beast doing to our oceans? Well, he's using his massive YouTube following to raise $30 million in order to remove 30 million pounds of trash from our oceans, waterways, and beaches, and by the end of the year. But don't count him out because he's already almost there. If you guys remember, Mr. Beast also did the massive Arbor fundraiser, Team Trees, where they raised enough money to plant over 20 million trees by 2020. And by the way, that fundraiser is still going, and today they still plant over a thousand trees a day. So join this amazing cause. Even if you can only donate one dollar, that is one pound of trash that will be removed from our oceans. And if you can't donate, it's okay. Just spread the word. It's free. And this is a wonderful, exciting, and important cause. All right, Leo, we're going to jump right into our weekly guidance tarot with the energy oracle. Let's see what energy you're going to be working with this week. We have yin yang and it's coming out in reverse. So I do feel like I'm talking to someone um, who maybe feels stuck in a situation. Yin Yang says that old energy is moving out in order for new energy to move in. So it's very possible that someone's just feeling stuck. All right, Leo, we're going to use Queen of the Moon Oracle to clarify. Let's see what has you feeling stuck. You have full moon power. So it could have something to do with your own spiritual abilities, trying to manifest with the full moon. We have beauty coming out. Beauty says that you're able to see the positive and a negative situation. It's like you're able to see the reason that something had to happen a certain way. All right, Leo, next we're going to use the Heal Your Stuff reading cards. Let's see if we can find out what challenge or obstacle you're having with the situation. So we have self-sabotage coming out. Self-sabotage tells me, um, I always get with this card, like the good angel and the bad angel on each shoulder. Um, one's telling you to do something good. One's telling you to do something bad. Something like that. It's like you're tempted to do something. Um, it's like you want to do something a certain way, but something always tempts you to not do it that way. A lesson that you've already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle. Leo, you have pay attention to the signs. So I definitely feel like spirit is sending you signs, synchronicities, trying to guide your path. And then Leo, for outcome, you have cycles. I do feel like it's very possible that someone is very much working on trying to break a repeated cycle. Love was next. So it is very possible this repeated cycle has to do with a relationship. All right, Leo, we're going to use the Lou Ellen Tarot to clarify. Let's see what we can get for self-sabotage. You have the Hanged Man. 
Um, the hanged man is about feeling suspended between two worlds. Um, not able to move forward, not able to go back. We also have the Ten of Cups. So again, I do feel like this is going to have something to do with a relationship. Could have something to do with a family. Pay attention to the signs. We have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords says that you are victorious. You do come out on top of a situation, but this cost you. There was definitely a sacrifice here. It's like maybe you didn't pay attention to the signs before and now you are. You have Queen of Pentacles, resources. You could be taking control of a situation, um, finding more resources. For cycles, you have Four of Wands. So Four of Wands is going to have something to do with a firm foundation. Um, could have something to do with union if you're in a twin flame journey. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is repeated cycles. So I feel like that's definitely a confirmation um, that someone is ending this repeated cycle. All right, Leo, we're going to clarify a little further and we're going to use the Gilded Tarot. Let's go back over here to Self-Sabotage. The Hanged Man, and the Ten of Cups. We have Seven of Wands. Um, Self-sabotaging could have something to do with competition. Too many people involved. Um, could also have something to do with needing to set healthy boundaries. For signs, Spirit sending you signs. Um, Five of Swords tells me you were victorious. You finally did see some sort of message. Um, but I feel like it costs you. So, Page of Pentacles flew out. Page of Pentacles is something, it's a new offer. It might not be as much as you expected. It's like you expected more from something or someone. Over here with Cycles, we have Knight of Swords, definitely. I feel like, Leo, you definitely retook, send this message. Knight of Swords is a messenger. They travel to unknown lands. Um, they bring messages. They want to talk to someone. But this particular Knight of Swords is bringing a liberation, freedom. Um, whatever he's communicating is going to give someone some sort of freedom. All right, Leo, we're going to do Guidance next. And this is going to be Queen of the Moon Oracle again and Magical Times together. I do want to mention all the cards that we used in today's reading. I do have my Amazon affiliate link in the description box below. And if you guys have started to write your dreams down, make sure to check out my guided dream journals. Those are in the description box also. All right, Leo, direct messages to you from Spirit about this situation. We have protection. So you're definitely protected. Um, and this could have something to do with a past on loved one because I do see the red cardinal. You have patience. This patience card is a little bit different than other patience cards because this patience card, do you see the balloon? She's holding this balloon because spirit is rewarding her for already being patient. She's at the end of this tunnel. She's ready to receive something. Boundaries. I do feel like it's going to have something to do with setting healthy boundaries. The beauty card is coming out again. So definitely being able to see the beauty of the situation and healing. Um, bless all in need of healing, hope, and love. Spirit, grant us strength and wisdom. Guide us to the path of wellness. That was going to be the last one, but then I seen awareness. Pay attention to the subtleties. Look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere. All right, Leo, we're going to end it with a Moonology Oracle, and this is going to help with your thoughts and emotions. I do feel like it is a little bit of an emotional week for you. Um, there's very much some sort of ending. An ending to like something that was painful, something that was difficult. Could have something to do with the relationship. With the Pentacles, it does tell me it could also have something to do with financial security, especially with the Four of Wands. You have nothing is yet set in stone. It's the mutable moon. You have communication is key. There's a new moon in Gemini. And I kind of did pick up on a twin flame energy. You have adjustments are required. It's the third quarter moon. Let's do one more. The energy is gaining momentum. And that's the waxing moon. On the bottom, it's a time to release negativity. It's the full moon in Scorpio. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this reading was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.